This is AP News Minute. Israel launched dozens of airstrikes on Gaza on Wednesday. Palestinian militants in Gaza fired a barrage of rockets into Israel, setting off air raid sirens in major cities. Palestinian health officials say at least 35 Palestinians have died in the fighting, including 12 children. Rocket fire killed five Israelis, including a child, Tuesday and early Wednesday. Congresswoman Liz Cheney says the Republican Party is being led down a path that abandons the rule of law. Republicans are expected to boot Cheney from her leadership post on Wednesday because she rejects former President Trump's false claims that the election was stolen. More than 1,000 gas stations in the southeast report that they've run out of fuel since hackers shut down a major pipeline. Analysts and government officials say drivers rushing to fill up are causing the shortage. Rita Foley, The Associated Press, with AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. Israel launched dozens of airstrikes on Gaza on Wednesday. Palestinian militants in Gaza fired a barrage of rockets into Israel, setting off air raid sirens in major cities. Palestinian health officials say at least 35 Palestinians have died in the fighting, including 12 children. Rocket fire killed five Israelis, including a child, Tuesday and early Wednesday. Congresswoman Liz Cheney says the Republican Party is being led down a path that abandons the rule of law. Republicans are expected to boot Cheney from her leadership post on Wednesday because she rejects former President Trump's false claims that the election was stolen. More than 1,000 gas stations in the southeast report that they've run out of fuel since hackers shut down a major pipeline. Analysts and government officials say drivers rushing to fill up are causing the shortage. Rita Foley, The Associated Press, with AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. A CDC advisory panel has endorsed using Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine in children from ages 12 to 15, and it's expected the CDC will accept the advice. Hours later, President Joe Biden announced the U.S. is on track for 60 percent of U.S. adults to have had at least one COVID-19 shot by next week. House Republicans ousted Representative Liz Cheney from her post as the chamber's number three GOP leader, punishing her after she repeatedly rebuked former President Donald Trump for his false claims of election fraud and his role in inciting the January 6th Capitol attack. Cheney fired back, saying, quote, we cannot be dragged backward by the very dangerous lies of a former president. Long lines formed at gas stations in the southeast after a hack of the nation's largest fuel pipeline sparked distribution problems, panic buying, and gas stations running out of fuel. Officials say the hack was carried out by a criminal gang known as Darkside and shows the vulnerabilities of the nation's critical infrastructure. Fighting continues between Israel and Hamas, with Israel hammering the Gaza Strip and Hamas firing barrages of rockets. Dozens have died in the worst outbreak of violence in that region since war between the two sides in 2014. Ned Barker, the Associated Press, with AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. A CDC advisory panel has endorsed using Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine in children from ages 12 to 15, and it's expected the CDC will accept the advice. Hours later, President Joe Biden announced the U.S. is on track for 60 percent of U.S. adults to have had at least one COVID-19 shot by next week. House Republicans ousted Representative Liz Cheney from her post as the chamber's number three GOP leader, punishing her after she repeatedly rebuked former President Donald Trump for his false claims of election fraud and his role in inciting the January 6th Capitol attack. Cheney fired back, saying, quote, we cannot be dragged backward by the very dangerous lies of a former president. Long lines formed at gas stations in the southeast after a hack of the nation's largest fuel pipeline sparked distribution problems, panic buying, and gas stations running out of fuel. Officials say the hack was carried out by a criminal gang known as Darkside and shows the vulnerabilities of the nation's critical infrastructure. 
Fighting continues between Israel and Hamas, with Israel hammering the Gaza Strip and Hamas firing barrages of rockets. Dozens have died in the worst outbreak of violence in that region since war between the two sides in 2014. Ned Barker, the Associated Press, with AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. Israeli airstrikes into Gaza and Palestinian rocket fire toward Israel both continued into Thursday. Gaza's health ministry says 69 Palestinians, including 16 children, have died. At least seven people have been killed in Israel, including a six-year-old child. Colonial Pipeline restarted the pipeline that brings fuel to the northeast late Wednesday. Hackers had shut it down, leading to gas shortages and long lines in much of the southeast. Nobody was hurt when two small planes collided in the air near Denver on Wednesday. One pilot landed by using a parachute attached to his aircraft. And Governor Gavin Newsom says California will probably keep in place some mask mandates and guidance for indoor activities. He said most of the restrictions on businesses and activities would be lifted in mid-June. Mike Hempen, the Associated Press, with AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. Israeli airstrikes into Gaza and Palestinian rocket fire toward Israel both continued into Thursday. Gaza's health ministry says 69 Palestinians, including 16 children, have died. At least seven people have been killed in Israel, including a six-year-old child. Colonial Pipeline restarted the pipeline that brings fuel to the northeast late Wednesday. Hackers had shut it down leading to gas shortages and long lines in much of the southeast. Nobody was hurt when two small planes collided in the air near Denver on Wednesday. One pilot landed by using a parachute attached to his aircraft. And Governor Gavin Newsom says California will probably keep in place some mask mandates and guidance for indoor activities. He said most of the restrictions on businesses and activities would be lifted in mid-June. Mike Hempen, the Associated Press, with AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is easing indoor mask wearing guidance for fully vaccinated people, allowing them to safely stop wearing masks in most places. The new guidance will still call for masks in crowded settings like buses, planes, hospitals, prisons, and homeless shelters. President Joe Biden is warning gas stations not to engage in price gouging as motorists wait for fuel to start flowing again through the Colonial Pipeline. He also pledged an aggressive response to the cyber attackers who caused the interruption. Muslims are celebrating the Islamic holiday of Eid al-Fitr, marking the end of the holy month of Ramadan, balancing social and religious rituals with coronavirus concerns. For many Muslims in the United States, this year's celebration is promising to be closer to normal than last year's as America charts a path back to normalcy from the pandemic. A small plane experiencing mechanical trouble made an emergency landing on a busy tollway in suburban Chicago on Thursday. At least three people had minor injuries when the plane came down in the southbound lanes of Interstate 355 in New Lenox. Chris Havlick, Associated Press, with AP this is AP News Minute. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is easing indoor mask wearing guidance for fully vaccinated people, allowing them to safely stop wearing masks in most places. The new guidance will still call for masks in crowded settings like buses, planes, hospitals, prisons, and homeless shelters. President Joe Biden is warning gas stations not to engage in price gouging as motorists wait for fuel to start flowing again through the Colonial Pipeline. He also pledged an aggressive response to the cyber attackers who caused the interruption. Muslims are celebrating the Islamic holiday of Eid al-Fitr, marking the end of the holy month of Ramadan, balancing social and religious rituals with coronavirus concerns. For many Muslims in the United States, this year's celebration is promising to be closer to normal than last year's as America charts a path back to normalcy from the pandemic. 
A small plane experiencing mechanical trouble made an emergency landing on a busy tollway in suburban Chicago on Thursday. At least three people had minor injuries when the plane came down in the southbound lanes of Interstate 355 in New Lenox. Chris Havlick, Associated Press with AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. The Israeli military says it fired artillery into northern Gaza on Friday to destroy militant tunnels ahead of a possible ground invasion. Israeli troops are massed along the border. After days of Israeli airstrikes inside Gaza and Palestinian rocket fire into Israel. The Palestinian Health Ministry says at least 119 Palestinians are known dead in Gaza, including 31 children. At least seven people are known dead in Israel, including one child. Nine people were wounded in what may be the largest shooting ever in Providence, Rhode Island. Police say two groups involved in an ongoing feud fired several dozen shots at each other. And the Centers for Disease Control says people fully vaccinated for COVID-19 can stop wearing masks outdoors in crowds and in most indoor settings. The guidance still calls for masks in crowded indoor settings, such as on buses and planes and in hospitals. Mike Hempen, the Associated Press with AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. The Israeli military says it fired artillery into northern Gaza on Friday to destroy militant tunnels ahead of a possible ground invasion. Israeli troops are massed along the border after days of Israeli airstrikes inside Gaza and Palestinian rocket fire into Israel. The Palestinian Health Ministry says at least 119 Palestinians are known dead in Gaza, including 31 children. At least seven people are known dead in Israel, including one child. Nine people were wounded in what may be the largest shooting ever in Providence, Rhode Island. Police say two groups involved in an ongoing feud fired several dozen shots at each other. And the Centers for Disease Control says people fully vaccinated for COVID-19 can stop wearing masks outdoors in crowds and in most indoor settings. The guidance still calls for masks in crowded indoor settings, such as on buses and planes and in hospitals. Mike Hempen, the Associated Press with AP News Minute.